Howdy, hey, what's up, how you doing today? This is one of my favorite parts of this old video from Jeremiah Films, the Evolution Conspiracy, because it's a geologist, and uh, geology is supposed to prove that this world is a gazillion years old, and all that good stuff, and uh, this guy's a geologist, it sounds what he know, like he knows what he's talking about, and I know this is an old, dated video, but there are certain... Ba fun fundamental basics about certain things that just never change like Ohm's law, uh, Newton's laws, uh, thermodynamics, uh, what else was the law of biogenesis and all that kind of good stuff. So, let's see what you think about this. Being in the first place. Dr. John Morris, Associate Professor of Geology at the Institute for Creation Research in California. There are hundreds of different clocks by which we can estimate the age of a rock or the age of the earth and almost all of them seem to give young ages for all of these things. There are about five or six, however, that seem to give old ages. It's interesting that my evolutionary colleague will always choose those old ones. These dates are then substantiated through biased dating methods such as radiometric dating. Although presented as objective and reliable, the results of radiometric dating are rejected if they do not agree with the preconceived evolutionary time frame. When a scientist wants to date a rock, he sends it to a lab, but you know that lab won't even take that rock unless he sends in a form with it telling them exactly how old he thinks that rock is, and that gives them a target to shoot for. And on the machine, they would keep turning those knobs and keep working on it until they got that date. Many times when we read in the textbooks about a rock that's been dated so many billion years, we just assume that the people that have gathered those dates know what they're talking about. But that's not the case. I know how those dates are arrived at. Until Darwin, many scientists were in agreement.